it's your favorite NB, Chris. I, um, I'm having a pretty good week. Actually, yeah. By the time this is up, I'm going to be super busy, actually. Lots of, like, doctor's appointments back to back. So, let's, let's just do this now, you know, one in one while I have time, right? Today, I'm going to talk a little bit about polyamory and how long distance relationships can be beneficial to someone who's still closeted. So, I am polyamorous. That means I am not monogamous. Oh wait, hold on. <laughs> I'm polyamorous, which essentially means that I'm open to dating more than one person at a time. So, you know, whether it be I'm in a relationship with somebody else and they're dating someone else, and we all, you know, are very healthy and aware and communicative, um, or I'm dating someone else, or we're both dating a third person, or even more people, of course, com communication is key to polyamory. So, yes, I'm open to that. And I'm also in a polyamorous relationship. But it's a long distance. All, like, three-way long distance. So, as you guys and gals and non-binary pals should know if you watch past videos, I am relatively closeted. Um, at home. I'm kind of out at school, but definitely at home I'm relatively closeted. So my relationship status is not public information, alright? <laughs> I'm sharing it for the sake of like knowledge more so than telling you about my life. But because I'm closeted, being in a long distance relationship actually makes it easier to find like-minded people and, you know, get to know other people and that I enjoy spending time with and talking with and things of that nature. So it's just, it's an interesting dynamic because people don't really think about relationships while they're still closeted or like they do, but it's always assumed that it's not long distance. A lot of thoughts on relationships aren't modernized. So when you think of like a long distance relationship, you don't think, a closeted person of the LGBTQ community benefiting from that relationship while still closeted. You know, a lot of the closeted LGBTQ stories that you hear are like, oh, I was closeted, so I went out with somebody like in a hetero passing relationship just for the sake of going out with somebody to go out with somebody. But like, that's not always the case in this day and age. So I just wanted to share that. And that's really it. Wow, that was shorter than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> I mean, feel free to ask questions, I suppose, in the comments and I'll answer them. But like, that's it. I just wanted to mention that because it's something that's not really thought about, you know, shown in media, talked about, it's not a common trope. <laughs> But uh, yeah, and polyamory is amazing and cool and great as long as, you know, everybody's communicative and honest and open and trusting, you know, it takes a lot of courage to trust people, especially states away, states away, countries away, like, to trust someone like that with your emotional vulnerability and, you know, hope that they'd be faithful enough for lack of a better better word to tell you when something happens you know as it happens like immediately after it happens you know so it's great as long as you're with the right people and you're being safe and honest polyamory is great but it's not for everybody and I totally respect if you prefer monogamy like I'm not forcing my ideals of life on anybody but yeah so that's it for this video, <laughs> stay happy, stay healthy, I love you all, and I'll see you in the next video.